So when you think about cryptocurrency, think about casino chips and casino chips that are being used at a casino. So cryptocurrency will be the, the chips and the casino will be this tech platform called blockchain. So outside of the casino or outside of blockchain, the cryptocurrency or the tokens, right? The chips have zero relevance, but inside the casino, inside blockchain, the cryptocurrency, again, or the casino chips are able to be operated as currency in this environment. So what are tokens? What are these casino chips? How are they, how are they created and what are they? Well, tokenization is, is a process of transferring ownership of an actual asset or a utility into a digital representation of that asset or utility, right? I.e. a digital token. So say for example, you want to share ownership of your house with a friend or family member, but you want to do it in the digital, you know, cryptocurrency structure. Then there's a process, you go through the process called tokenization, right? And you would transfer the ownership of that asset, that house into this digital representation so that 50% of it is owned by you and 50% of it is owned by the other party. That particular token would be considered a security token because it's backed up with an actual physical asset. Unlike another scenario where if you say, well, you know, I own a movie theater and I want to let family and friends, you know, come for free on Friday nights, right? Then that would be considered a utility token and it would operate like a coupon redeemable for access to your movie theater on Friday's nights. Different from security token is the utility token is not backed up by an actual asset. So it has zero foundation in an asset. It's purely based on a utility, a utilitarian purpose. And it is usually used to fund the startup costs for a business. Then you have currency or transactional tokens. Like Bitcoin is a good example of this, which it isn't tied to any asset at all. It, its value is defined by the platform that created it. Okay, but you use it like actual money to transact a business inside of the blockchain community. So in order to get to the place of a security token, we, you, you have to go through the process of a security token offering. And we discussed this a moment ago where this is how you begin before you start the tokenization process. So basically it's the same security regulations that apply to the equity investment in your film. All the same regulations, all the same exemptions. And it's a pretty popular um, mode of, of investment. It was really, really popular years ago uh, when the ICO boom the, that is the, the initial coin offering boom took place. But we'll get into that a little later in the presentation. But again, as, as I pointed out here, it's called a security token offering process, STO. And these tokens um, are tethered to real assets. Um, the film, there's a film coming out about the Atari video console and the games, and they're using security tokens and raised fully 40 to $50 million doing it. So. This is a popular path for um, raising capital in the film space through cryptocurrency.